control. We're approaching the four minute mark. E minus four minutes, 32 seconds and counting and swing arm number nine is now swinging back to the full retract position. The astronaut crew aboard are making their final switch checks, reading off these final positions, preparation for launch. As we approach the final minutes here, we'll go into a relatively silent period as far as reporting goes. The launch team indicates that they will have only negative reporting. If there's a problem only, will they come up on the air at this time? Now, T minus four minutes, three seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control. Paul 16, this is the RLF. The launch team wishes you good luck and Godspeed. Well, we appreciate that. But we can't do without you. This is Kennedy Launch Control. Launch Operations Manager Paul Donnelly just called the three astronauts and said that the Apollo 16 launch team wishes them good luck and Godspeed. They all replied thank you and we now have a quiet circuit as they switch over to the Astrocom circuit. We're now T-minus 3 minutes, 24 seconds and counting. We're approaching the time when the countdown goes on the terminal sequencer. The sequencer commands a variety of functions, all of which must occur in the proper sequence for the count to continue. Also here in the control center, the uh, people will continue to monitor what are called the red line values to ensure that everything is go for launch. The instrument unit light, panel light now on the status board indicates instrument unit ready, spacecraft ready, emergency detection system ready. We've passed the uh, 2 minute 50 second mark and we're now on the terminal sequencer. The terminal sequencer has started. This terminal sequencer will pressurize the fuel tank. <laughs> These fuel tanks are pressurized to ensure that as the fuels deplete, they are forced down for, to assure an even flow into the engine. Fuel tanks are now being pressurized. The S4B, or third stage liquid oxygen tank, has just been pressurized, and the second stage liquid oxygen tank has been pressurized. As we move down through the count at the T minus 17 second mark, we'll get a release of the guidance system in the instrument unit. Also handled by the automatic sequencer will be the release of swing arms number one and number two. The ignition of the Saturn V five engines, the first stage five engines, will take place at 8.9 seconds in the countdown. 8.9 seconds. They'll be the engines will or the vehicle will then be held down <coughs> until we build up to 7.7 .7 million pounds of thrust. At the T-minus three-minute mark, tape recorders on board the spacecraft were turned on. These recorders record both voice and data. The spacecraft now to full internal cooling. The cooling load has been shared with a ground cooling. T-minus 90 seconds and counting. T-minus 90 seconds and counting. At T-minus one minute, 15 seconds, the spacecraft batteries will be turned on for launch. These batteries will give an additional power source to the spacecraft as well as be acting as a backup for the fuel cells. The third stage liquid hydrogen tank now uh, pressurized. All third stage tanks pressurized. Second stage tanks also pressurized. T minus one minute, T minus one minute and counting. Now moving into the final minute of the count. We'll be standing by to for the switch over to internal power. Switch over taking place at this time going on internal power. T minus 45 seconds and counting. Guidance aligned just announced by John Young. That will be the last action taken by the crew aboard the spacecraft. T minus 35 and counting. Countdown continuing to go well. T minus 30. T minus 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. Guidance release. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engine's now building up to 7.7 .7 million pounds of truck. We have a launch commit and we have a liftoff. The swing arm moving back. The Saturn V lifting off the pound. Alpha pad building up the truck. We clear the tower.
Houston, times are nominal. Level sense will be 8 plus 3, 7, and cut off at 9er plus 1, 9er.
Roger, in board. Stand by for mode four capability. Mark, you have mode four now. Okay, there was uh, S2 shut down. Imagine. And we have S4B ignition. This is good on the S4B. Roger. Apollo 16, Houston, your go for orbit. Uh, predicted cutoff 11 plus 49er. Roger, 1149. Pitch one is coming off. Roger. Houston, the range safety system is safe. The orbit is go. 
Roger. Boy, it's just beautiful up here looking out the window. It's just really fantastic. And the uh, thing worked like a champ. Sure did. Hey, we copy now 62 and uh, your orbit by radar is 95 by 90.